I'm Robert. We got Brad here with Sean Jackson, the CFO of Rainmaker Digital, and we've known each other way back to PubCon, and you were the president of the Dad uh, Dallas Ad League. Ad, Ad League. You've done it all <laughs> from old. What we like about you, you are old media, <laughs> old school marketing, old school marketing, and now digital. There you go. So Brad's going to tell you about one of the challenges we run to in a process we uh, use called Listen, Think, Speak. And we're going to talk to you about listen. Okay. Yeah, so one of the things we find, Sean, is that companies don't take the time to listen. They just want to sell, 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 or promote, promote, promote. And they don't take the time to really listen first to say, what is it about my audience or customers or prospects that I need to take and then develop a plan or a marketing plan off of this. Give us a little idea about how you've seen that in digital world, how you see things work, how you see things that haven't worked. Just give us some of your insights. Uh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, and I think that is the toughest part. I think in a sales-driven culture especially, yeah. everyone's so excited to get out there selling, right? It's and all about my, the money. Yeah, it's right. I need to sell you. And even if somebody says, wait, 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 I'm ready to buy, it's like, well, I haven't sold you enough yet, yeah, right? More. You know? I need to talk yeah. more. And I think it's because uh, typically in sales organizations, you have dynamic people wanting to speak, et cetera. But I think we've always found over history between all media that when we take time to listen, the most successful sales technique is listening. I think the digital age has actually made it easier for us yeah. to listen than it has been in the past. So with all that said, if you are not prepared to really take the time and, and understand that if you let people talk, they will tell you exactly, exactly what, what they, they want. want. <laughs> yes. So you spoke the digital age makes it easier to listen. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you've seen that in real life. What is it in the digital world that makes it easier to listen? And I'm not talking about software. Let's get to a better level. Like, sure. We all have little buttons we can push. Let's talk on a deeper level. What are some of the things you've seen that help, the, that help you listen better? Well, I think when it comes to businesses, certainly a lot of people now are feeling comfortable asking questions on the internet. So let's go to the very basics. Um, Google, right? Google Trends will tell you what type of topics tend to be trending or not, right? right. That's a very informal way of seeing where a topic is and how it is speaking Google it, it, you know basically how and in Google trends you can see how people are talking in an indirect way but then even more intimate is all of our social media channels right when you're looking on LinkedIn you're looking on Quora you're looking on Facebook you know people are posting things out there and asking questions or they're responding to questions that come up so I think from an observation standpoint there are many many ways out there one of my favorite tools for listening is actually Quora because Quora people are asking questions and people yeah. are giving responses yeah. so I think we have a way to be uh, a little bit bit more sophisticated in how we hear people at a broad level, but then of course at a business level there are different techniques that are needed.